So what's it like going out with these guys, watching them jump, do their stunts? Here's a five minute, five minute and fifty second video. And I'm gonna give you some insight into what goes on. Behind the camera, behind my eyes, what goes on in my brain while the three brothers are doing their stunts. For starters, this is uh, Santa Cruz, California. We're at a Starbucks. We've been coming here for years to this location. What are we, what are we looking at? What happened, Splinter? Oh, you stepped on your finger? Yeah. Right. That's Kate? Joseph. You guys ready to get old. in the car and go? Oh, what is that? That's a, that's a termite. It's a termite stuck in a spider web. Where? Do you know what a termite is? No, they bite. Uh, I don't. I don't know if they bite actually, but they eat wood. Uh, see, see how he has four wings? That's how you know it's a termite. It's actually three termites stuck in one web. One, two, three. Where are they? They live in the ground and then they come out. Oh, they make the Not a cocoon in the ground. They make a nest in the ground, I think. That's Avi. He's five years old. Yeah, they have wings. And then they fly away. Look at another one. No, uh, no, that's not a termite. And that's Ari. He's Joseph's twin. He's also two years old. A couple months away from being three years old. So we come to the Starbucks. They do tons of jumping here. And even though we come here... At least once a week, they're always inventing new moves, new jumps. And come out of the tan bark, please. I don't want you guys inside there. Thank you. Come out of there, and please don't step on the plant ants. The plants. Don't don't hurt the plants. I never think they're going to come up with new moves, and yet they do every time we come here. So. Last month, Avi started jumping from that planter onto these cement benches. And now today, the twins are going to start doing that. This is the first time Ari's ever made that jump. We do have that plant at home, you're right. Avi, let's go now. Oh, you have a pretty good scratch on your forehead. How did you get that? No, let me see your face. Let me see your face. Let me see your face. Watch out, oh, Avi. Did you just get that scratch on there? Yeah, today. <laughs> oh, how, did you, how did you get that scratch? Oh. I climbed up there, and we had a spiky thing, and it went right there. On the branch? Yeah. Oh, does it hurt? Yeah. No. Not anymore. I almost always dress the boys in these capri pants and vests. And the reason why I've chosen this gear for them always to wear is because it's simple, it's clean, and it allows them full mobility. So I've tried different shoes on the boys and different clothing, and they always complain, especially Avi, that it affects his mobility. So that's why I never put him in jeans or cords or anything that would inhibit him from getting full extension or full contraction or articulating all of his joints to their maximum, you know, maximum ability. We have an embarrassing amount of shoes and they seem to always choose those Pumas um, and they love Nanos too. Nanos are made by Reebok, I'm assuming Pumas are made by Puma. And then those K-Swiss that Joseph are wearing are just, uh, that jump that Avi just did right there from the tan bark. Maybe I 
over the seated area. That scares me to death every time he does that because I think his toe could get caught on the cement there before he leaves the tan bark area and uh, cause him to land on his face. That's the first time Joseph's ever made that jump. And oh, I don't like it that that's... Joseph does that either. But I just sit there and take a deep breath and keep filming. And I've never seen Avi do okay? that jump quite like that either. Um, he landed kind of funny. But also, I've never seen him jump from the tan bark over the highest lip on these cement benches. No, come out of the tan bark, please. Come out of there. Last so jump. So already, I'm taking an inventory Thank and you. seeing don't all touch these it, new things don't that they're touch doing. Anything in there. Come out of there now. Okay, we're leaving. And uh, <laughs> that's it. And as you saw at the end there, Avi started touching things in the tan bark. So I just made the executive decision to leave. I'm always afraid they're going to touch a needle or something dangerous in there.